is the most important thing to keep in mind right now. The worst of Helene is not here yet, and we've already watched live on air as people have been rescued, water rescued, and uh, as trees have fallen on their homes. And in a lot of these cases, people haven't gotten to grab everything they wanted to grab. So if you want to get a go bag or your emergency kit ready to go and by the door so you have just the essentials to take with you just in case something happens, Probably a good idea. And in the meantime, we have crews spread out all across Georgia and in Florida to bring you the latest on what's going on. So let's get a look at how it looks right now east of Atlanta. We want to take you to Athens this morning where Atlanta News First reporter Joshua Skinner is in downtown. Joshua, tell us what you're seeing. The wind is picking up there. Yeah, guys, actually, this is about as calm as it's been for about the past 30 minutes. The wind's still hitting me in the face, water, rain, it, it burns the eyes. Um, but I mean, we were seeing absolute sheets of rain. You might be able to hear the wind as it, it gusts and hits me in the face here. But as it's starting to pick up again, it's been slowly picking up over about the last 30 minutes. The wind has coming in heavier and heavier gusts. You can probably see a bunch of the trees. I don't know if you can see those behind me in the lights. The trees are moving around. They're angry this morning, flying all over the place. We've seen some, some work vehicles and some fire trucks fly by us. But other than that, there hasn't been a lot on the road. But the conditions continue to deteriorate here in Athens. You know, just a few, about 15 minutes ago, the rain was so heavy you couldn't see the traffic lights about 100 yards away from where we are. Our photographer, Joe Johnson, he's actually underneath an awning. So he's nice and safe here. I'm safe right outside. I'm just getting hit by all this wind and this rain that's coming through. But the conditions, again, they're getting worse here. Uh, and this is actually kind of a lull right now in what we've been seeing as these bands kind of go through here, guys. We have a question for you real quick before we let you go. Can you tell us about your drive over there? What did you yeah. see? Was it bad on the road? Were there, was there flooding on the road? Were there any cars spun out? Can you kind of paint that just in case someone absolutely has to get out the door? Yeah, you know what? We didn't actually see many cars on the road. Um, and as in terms of flooding right now, at least where we are in that downtown area, it looks pretty good. There were some power outages actually when that first wave of storms came through yesterday evening. Uh, our power in the downtown area has been on. You can probably see it looks like another fire truck going by me. That's about the third one we've seen go that direction. We might want to start following that here in a second, but we've seen um, the power flicker on and off downtown, but so far the downtown area still has power. So a, kind of a best case scenario for us right here as the conditions get worse, but it does look like at some point as again gets calmer and calmer, we are expecting this to actually continue to get worse throughout the morning. All right, Joshua Skinner for us live in Athens this morning where that's uh, the largest gust we've seen yeah. so far. Joshua, thank you. We will continue to check in.